everybody. This is Ellen Ruth Soap and I'm Ellen and today I am making detox bars. I'm super excited about this bar. Uh, I'm going to be using a whole bunch of really good for you ingredients uh, including activated charcoal and bentonite clay for their toxin pulling um, super powers <laughs> in soap. Uh, that'll be my swirling color. I'm going to use essential oils of oregano, uh, tea tree, and rosemary for all of their uh, special benefits and properties. So I wrote out some things. Um, oregano is antibacterial. It's an antitoxin. Uh, it relieves itch. It's anti-inflammation. It's antioxidant. Um, so it just is really good overall essential oil. Tea tree oil is antimicrobial. Uh, it's good for skin issues, acne, psoriasis, eczema. Tea tree is very healing. Um, poison ivy even. Uh, rosemary is good for wrinkles. We know I like that. Uh, acne, eczema, um, dry skin, another really powerful essential oil. So activated charcoal is uh, the carbons. They absorb toxins, so it actually draws out of the skin if you uh, get yourself into chiggers or mosquito bites or you know stings of any kind. Activated charcoal is really good as a poultice and also just as a bar soap um, for pulling out issues with your skin. Uh, bentonite clay, which is technically a volcanic ash, um, although they call it a clay. It's not earth clay specifically. But anyway, volcanic ash. And it also is very good at drawing toxins out. Um, uh, some people will take bentonite clay baths with Epsom salt to help uh, dry out skin or body toxicity. But in this bar soap, it also adds a really nice creamy lather, a little slip to the lather. Um, I put it in my shaving soap for that slip because it makes the razor go. But in this bar, uh, I'm putting a healthy dose in for its skin benefits and pulling properties. So those are some of the things. I'm also going to put some colloidal oats, organic colloidal oats. And for the liquid, I'm using my organic aloe vera juice again. Um, again, just thinking about all the things that are good for your skin. I want this bar to just really be healthful and good for your skin. So we're going to treat our body nice and uh, we'll get to making this bar here. I've got my oils melted and cooling. I have my aloe vera lye solution is cooling and we'll get it all pulled together and come back and make some soap. All right, before I get my lye solution out, what I'm going to do is get my essential oils and my charcoal and my clay with a little bit of the oils here absorbing in there so that they're all um, slushy and smushy and easy to mix in. So what I'll do here is, here is my little cocktail of essential oils. I've got my rosemary, my oregano, and my tea tree oil in here. And I'm going to split this up evenly between the two. There we go. That looks about right. And it does have a sort of medicinal smell to it, but I like that. And it kind of um, just really goes along with the whole essence of this soap, I think, uh, the detox theme. So I'm going to add just a little bit of my oil so it's got a little liquid here to absorb these. And here is my activated charcoal, and this is so good for you but it is such a mess to work with so <laughs> I always be careful and the washcloth turns black afterwards and it's just a treat so that is a very heaping teaspoon I'm going to add a little more I want about two tablespoons is what I'm going for All right and then the same with my bentonite clay we'll go in here and again, there we go, a nice heaping teaspoon, and I'll do that again for a couple of tablespoons total. Um, if they absorb up the essential oils, the theory is that it will um, give the essential oils some staying power. They won't dissipate quite so much during the saponification process. That's the theory. So in my big bucket of oils here, I'm going to go ahead and add my colloidal oats in there so that when we split the batter off, everybody will get some oats. And I'll just do one 
big scoop, which is about two tablespoons, maybe a little more. There we go. All right. Get my little whisk, and I will do the light color first of the bentonite clay. And make my little slurry so that when we go ahead and pour this in to my buckets and split it for the color swirl, I don't want any chunks. I want it very, very well dispersed. All right, so the bentonite clay is all slurried in. And now we'll do the charcoal. And those are ready to go. So I'm going to buzz in my oats in here and we'll come back with the aloe vera lye solution and get it all put together. Okay, we are ready to roll here. I'm going to set my split off over here. I've got my colloidal oats buzzed in to my oils and now I'm going to add my aloe vera lye solution. And this does have um, the Tessa silk fibers aloe vera juice and oh my that's filling right on up <laughs> um, and a couple tablespoons of sodium lactate is what we've got in here boy that's ambitious let's see how we do here trace here and then we're going to split these apart and add our activated charcoal and our bentonite clay essential oil slurries there. <coughs> Set that aside. Clean up my drips. Okay. And then we'll stick blend once we get these separate. I think I will go ahead and pour off into here. I really like these uh, big polypropylene beakers. These are the short form beakers and um, yeah, they're just really nice. Let's see. That's three liters in there and this is two over here. So I'm going to pour a little more. That's the other nice thing is they have the measurements on the outside. I mean, this doesn't have to be exactly precise, so I'm not weighing, but it gives you a nice ballpark. So we're about two and a half there. Not quite two and a half here. There. We're going to call that good for our split off. All right. Now... I'm going to uh, do the bentonite clay here, and what I'll do is pour a little of my batter in just to give me something to stir, and then we'll pour it back in here. Just want to make absolutely sure it's all incorporated, and we don't want to lose any of the wonderful essential oils here. We want to make sure everything gets in there. really good. Again, a little medicinally, but medicinally, is that a word? You know what I mean. But it's kind of a good smell. Alright, I'm going to do the same exact thing here with the charcoal. Pour a little of the soap batter in just to loosen it up. And then we'll pour it into the big container. So charcoal is interesting in soap. Um, of course, it's black. Black as black can be. Um, so you probably don't want to use it with white washcloths, <laughs> things like that. But it actually lathers white. Um, it may have a little gray tinge to it, but um, you will get a white lather out of this bar. And I just, 
find that really interesting, kind of cool. So in we go with that one. last bit. I don't want any waste. This is really good stuff and especially when you're working with essential oils those are not cheap so I really don't want to lose anything in translation here. We want all the benefits, all the goodies to go in your soap. I don't know if I'm going to need to stick blend this again or not. We'll just Give this a stir and come back and see. There we go. The bentonite clay, because it is so absorbing, is already starting to chunk up. So what I'm going to do is stick blend this one because it's pretty thick. Let's get it really incorporated in there. There we go. Wonderful. pull over my awesome new slab bowl here and start to pouring. Let's get a layer of this down in the bottom. Making sure I don't have any blobbies in there of clay. Alright, shake that out and get it even, and here we go with our charcoal. going to save a little bit for the top here. And I'm going to go ahead and bonk this down on the ground when I get uh, this final pour here in just so that I make sure I don't have any air bubbles because it did get very thick which when you're working with the clays and things that's not unexpected because they do absorb so all the liquid is getting soaked up into here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and scrape all of this out and give it a tap down on the ground and then we'll come back and do a pretty top. All right.
All right, here we are the next day, uh, and I'm gonna unmold my detox bars, and uh, they smell good. It's kind of a medicinal smell, but it's a good smell. Um, with the rosemary, the tea tree, and the oregano, or if you say oregano. <laughs> anyway, let's get this out of the mold and see what we've got. I did sort of a rustic layer. I didn't flatten it out. I just sort of poured each color, so I wanted kind of a rustic layer so that um, you would see the different, the bentonite clay and the activated charcoal clay. So that's kind of what I was going for when we poured this. wanted to show you something that happened here. Um, let me see, where is it? There. Even with dispersing the bentonite clay with the olive oils, it solidified, so I have like a little bentonite clay spot, which is fine, it's perfectly good soap, but if it doesn't look pretty on the inside, that bar will be for me and my husband. But um, because these clays are so absorbent, they just, as soon as they hit liquid, they start grabbing on, um, which makes it great for your skin. But anyway, just wanted to show you that. <laughs> 